This is Jordan with perhaps the ugliest shoes in the league. <laughs> One thing that's impressive, we'll get a chance to see Michael Jordan's shoes are the fact that he has a... He had, a, he had a chance to see it on, uh, on tape. Caldwell Jones wins the chip. Got posted. Spins on Woolridge and fires over him and buries that. That's what they paid for. This is Jordan with perhaps the ugliest shoes in the league. <laughs> One thing that's impressive, we'll get a chance to see Michael Jordan's shoes there is the fact that he hasn't forced anything early in the game. With all the hype, it's been four minutes we played her almost, and he hasn't taken a shot and really hasn't looked to force anything. Sixers operate again. Charles Barkley. Doc fires the jumper over Woolridge and it rattled around and dropped. 4-20. Chicago. Moses doubled up. Jordan hooks it away and here he comes. Jordan against Keats. Runs in and scores. Is he wide or what? You know, you sit there and finally goes back to Jordan. Jordan pump fakes Bobby into the air and has it blocked by Moses. I didn't realize Moses was such a rejecter. He's throwing everything back tonight. I not consider him a guy who tries to block a lot of shots. I think he is a good shot blocker, but he doesn't go after everything. Said in the paper, was quoted in the paper saying, he was asked the question, have you ever seen a guy come into the league and do as many things well as Michael? The outlet is for West. To the middle, swings it out to Jordan to the hole, goes up, missed it, but a foul ball. That's Michael Jordan here. Watch him play in the air. In the air, pumped, and then tried to hook it up. See, it's not fair for a guy to have that kind of ability to do all those kind of things in the air and get you to foul him. You're supposed to come down at some time. You're well, not supposed to, I'm saying, you know. I'm saying you see a guy like Doc or Jordan who they, half their game is played up in the air. Jordan, with another free throw coming, and makes that. Jordan and Greenwood finally got back and covered. Leon Wood, the lob to Doc, coming around Jordan, he scores. Well, Hello, Mr. Jordan. Right now, Clement playing Corzine, and Moses matched up with David Greenwood. Here's Jordan, the turnaround, bingo. Justice Caldwell with three personal fouls. This is Doc, one-on-one. -on -one. Fires the jumper, scores. And the Sixers bring it up to begin the third quarter, leading by six. Bobby gets the start. And Doc takes one in off the right wing. Daly with the field goal. He is second of the game in his fifth point, but at the other end, Doc with the easy one as they're just beating the Bulls back down the floor. Maurice inside Doc, and there's the good shot. Maurice Jakes. Jordan steals it. Here he comes. Jordan running down the lane, changed his mind in midair and missed it. How about who came over there to make him change that shot? Yep, Mr. Irving. After the Bulls are trying to pick up the tempo and show trap. Doc floats in, finger roll, nope, but the tap in by Moses is good. Swung to Michael Jordan, jumper is good. But just his third field goal of the game. Today, he'll treat for the veteran Doc. Julius will fire from outside, that's there. He measured that, baby. Sixers are shooting 12 for 19 in this quarter. Let's for an alley oop for Barkley here. See if it's, no, they didn't run at that time. Doc looked for it and then knocked in the jumper. He looked at Charles McConnell. Remaining here at the stadium in Chicago. Neil Funk with Doug Collins. Driving Jordan, and he pen tried to penetrate that time, but hit the end line. But he did, as you suggested, Doug, that time. Instead of looking for the perimeter shot, he tried to take it in inside on the drop. Michael Jordan, we talked about his shoes earlier in the game. Michaels only has two points here in this second half, only 10 on the ball game. And Orlando Woolridge. Jordan, good move, and then Doc just hammered it away. He spiked that baby. Hello. Doc coming over to give help. I tell you, Julius is an amazing athlete. You know, where did he come from, he's saying? You know, Julius has, has played over a 1,000 games in his pro career, and he came in here tonight, and he knew there was a challenge awaiting him, and, you know, he's just he's just great. 92-83, Sixers with a lead in the ball. Clint tried to flash. Doc will raise up. The jumper is good off the glass. <laughs> uh, so they don't want to become ragged right now because they've done such a good job controlling this tempo. 
was a pump foul on Jordan as Doc tried to run down the right side line with it. Doc, one on one. Doc down the lane. Deep Jordan dishes the three. Jumper, bingo. Great penetration by Doc, who got Jordan up in the air and then just laid the ball off as he drew the de uh, defense to him. Three behind his back. Dishes to Clint, now to Julius. Doc spins it up and in. Great ball movement there by the Sixers. At halftime, the Sixers will conduct a contest to find the ultimate fan with valuable prizes to be awarded to the winner. Michael Jordan took the lob underneath and surfaced on the left side for the jam. Daly. Again, they have Jordan underneath. Jordan again catches, goes up, and that's partially blocked with a foul is called. As we watch Michael Jordan catch this underneath, Doc tried to flick it away. And then the foul is... Clement and Clint got there, but consequently, they haven't, uh, they haven't, they haven't, and now Michael Jordan, and what that does is it, it makes it very sporadic. Doc, again, they try to trap him, they go to Clint, that's blocked out of bounds, the Sixers will inbound. Two minutes. Two minutes left in this ball game. Daly. Zoning up. Here's Doc from 15. Missed it short, but a whistle blew. If you just take your time and be patient. Doc buries the first free throw. 101 to 95 with 59 seconds left. But give the Bulls credit. They could have rolled over and died and didn't. And a 103-97. Essentially, Jordan streaks to the left side. Scoops it up. Missed it. Bobby Jones, the rebound. The outlet for Moses. Moses is in front of everybody. He will jam with the right hand. Good night. 597. Michael Jordan for three daily. Yeah. He stuck that. Maybe we shouldn't go home. 105 to 100. Doc makes the first free throw. Julius perfect at the line. Three of three and 23 points in the game. Doc again. Bang again. Just a super person and player Julius serving is because I mean, you see the effort he gives night in and night out. He's got to be tired. He's 34 years old, played a tough game in Detroit last night, and he came in here tonight, and he just shook hands with Michael Jordan. Down at the other end. Yep. He's just, he's just class personified. 109 to 100. As Daly throws it at the horn, and it comes away. And the Sixers have the win. So... The Sixers win the war here. And in answer to your question, Doug, which I really didn't answer, yeah, I think the Sixers came in here after reading about the big matchup between Michael Jordan and Julius Irving and seeing the...